So the May 29th update for the pond, I pulled the plants out and I ran a two 20 foot segments of 12 inch corrugated um, culvert under the ground through here. I've been showing that in the short videos, the little trenching I did and that goes right into the ditch out there. I gotta flatten this out a little bit and rake it, get it nice for watershed. This pond, I gotta fill this in with riprap on this side so that I can get a little less erosion around the pipe. I'll put some crushed rock on the bottom there to hopefully catch some of the sediment as it comes through. And then this end of this pool, and again, this is the shallow pool, which will be my biofilter and kind of low water holding uh, function of pond. So you can see the edge perimeter there. That'll be all my vegetation and plants and stuff. I have all these different pond plants and that'll keep them just enough in the water that they won't drown, but also uh, build a nice perimeter around what will be a little low lying water body. And this one fills in here and it'll kind of pool through the center section. And then once it wells up to this height here, it'll start filling into this pipe and this pipe will go over here it won't at this height start filling into the pond. It'll wait until the height of this pond here gets to that height there. So it'll actually be almost the height of this berm in between the ponds. And then it will pull a siphon basically and just start pulling the water from that point forward down to that height. And what I did with this is I just buried another seven inch PVC corrugated uh, pipe. I've surrounded it with some thicker uh, slate rock just to kind of keep bigger things from falling on it um, or into it like sticks and stuff like that uh, to try and keep this area as clear as I can and as a holder for what the next step is which will be this little mesh goes over the top of it like so and then I'm going to put crushed rock and just fill that whole area with this bag of crushed rock and then on the top of that I will stack some little flat rocks that all look like they'll be my water gauges for the outside of the pond. So you won't really see the drain. It's kind of hidden and it has a lot of filtering function based on the rocks and the mesh. So that only uh, a certain amount of uh, particulate can get down in there. So nothing big will be draining down in. The other part will be is that I don't want the height of the pool to start filling and pull that water immediately because I want this pool to separate out the oils. So if there are any oil spills on the roadway that go into the trench or the ditch, they'll come in here. This water table will fill that pipe, but because oil will float on the water, it will float up. And once the water gets to this height, the siphon effect will bring it down. So the oil, whatever it is on the top of the water will always stay outside of this siphon system um or like an s drain or i don't even know what consider that is maybe a bell siphon someone should tell me down below what type of siphon is that it's got to be something magical i'm sure they have some engineering term for it but that's the drain out this eventually will also at the very top of it will have a crushed gravel overspill so this will be completely covered. I'll flatten that back out, but at the exact same spot as this pipe, there'll be an overflow. So if the pond is filling up too rapidly from this pipe, which is larger in diameter than that pipe, it will have the ability to emergency flood into the big pond. Hopefully that will happen, but once or twice a year. And then I'll make an overspill stream that'll actually run all the way back to the front side of the property. So I'm gonna dig a trench right on this edge over there and run a stream all the way back. And that'll be my overflow little kind of trench on this side of the lot. Uh, and there is one back there as well, but I'll make this one cute and you know, all the fancy stuff. But that is pond update. I will uh, put the rock in there and uh, show you what that looks like when it's done here. So that's basically uh, what it's gonna look like in that I'll probably have to get another two bags of rock to kind of hold it in place. Um, but yeah, that will be the, the spill out for this pond. And from the top of the water, you won't see any of the plastic. You'll just see a kind of a pile of rocks and what will look like it kind of a, a grade of rocks that will be sticking out of the water, which will be a good indicator for the height of the water in the pond. So that stack is right about where that top is. So I know that when the water hits the top of this pile of rocks, that's when it will start spilling into this pond. Um, and that way I can just kind of visually look out at the pond and see where the water uh, is relative to when it's going to start pumping into the big pond. Um, but yeah, I think that's, that's pretty much it on the pond side of things. I just have to uh, trench that in and kind of tuck it against the side and then put it down into the very bottom in the center where it's really deep just so that I always pull a siphon uh, so there's always water 
that's covering this end of the pipe as well and uh, smooth out this little guy. I'll start putting in all my aquatic plants all around this perimeter shelf which I've left up and around um, and then I'll leave this what I cut in as a I'll back the camera out a little as a ramp uh, to access so if this needs to be dredged or if I need to get my tractor in there uh, when the water is low enough and I need to remove some plants from the sides if they get overgrown or anything like that I'll have access and I gave the same access for the tractor on this one over here so if I ever need to do maintenance I have a access point but I think that's pretty much it I need a bunch of crushed rock over there a tiny bit of rock over there and we're good